Megan and Sunshine Sacks Exposed. Good afternoon, everyone. Folks, what I'm about to do for you is make a compelling case and argument about how Sunshine Sacks and Meghan Markle targeted us and created their own organized hate campaign starting in the spring of 2021. Uh, they like to make it seem like their whole, you know, Twitter investigation and all of that was organic and just happened naturally. And that is not the case. They are liars. They had it planned and they wielded their power against, not that we're helpless, but for the sake of argument, helpless, just regular people on social media. Shame, shame. And now, I released this information back in December of 2021, but I had a very, very small channel, and I believe that my video only got a thousand or two views on it. So now that now that things are different and I have 30,000 subscribers and this will get shown more, and the fact that the world media is going after the Sussex Squad and Megan and all of their dirty tricks and things like that, Dan Wooten, for instance, is dropping his own expose tomorrow. I can't wait for that. So hopefully this will just add to it. Um, and these people just need to be exposed and we're all working on it. So I'm going to put in the video that I did in 2021 exposing this in the video description box and the pinned comment. There will be some additional information in that video that I'm not going to cover here because there's so much of it. So that's where it will be if you want to watch it. But this this will just be faster. So these two liars famously lied and did what they did on Oprah, their Oprah interview on March 7th, 2021. Now, I admittedly, I did watch this interview, but I admittedly was not around the scene at that time. Uh, Megan did talk about how she was the most trolled person, I think, in whatever year it was. And then if I had to venture and take a guess, I'm going to say that a couple days or a week or a month after this interview, her lies were probably starting to be fully torn apart and um, that was all over social media and these lies and grifters liars and grifters were exposed for the scum that they are well in may of 2021 in comes elizabeth e thorpe megan's agent if you will at sunshine Sachs, vice president of sunshine Sachs. so she was brought in because she's got a very impressive resume. I'm not going to go over it here, but I believe that she was brought in to curb what was going on on social media and the destruction of Harry and Meghan, even though Harry and Meghan don't realize they destroyed themselves, but they had to stop the bleeding on social media. And this woman was hired to do that. It gets worse. This is just some some of her stuff, her resume. Um, if, if anybody's interested, they can take screenshots of it. I'm not going to read it to you. She's worked with Chelsea Clinton. She's friends with a lot of powerful people. And those will also be in the other video that I will attach to this. So, you know, the Sunshine Sacks in itself are powerful. Meghan and Harry, you know, whatever they are, they've got a lot more power than we do. And Elizabeth Thorpe's political contacts and contacts at Twitter can do a lot to people that they don't agree with. So Elizabeth Thorpe, this is her Twitter account on the left. She has 30,000 followers. Now she does not list Sunshine Sacks on her Twitter anymore. Why? Because she doesn't want to be tied to what I tied her to years ago. Whereas before, you will see on December 10th, 2022, she has VP at Sunshine, or 20, I'm sorry, December 10th, 2021, she has VP at Sunshine Sachs on her Twitter account before I exposed her for what, it, what she's done. Now, I do want to point out, in 2021, she had 34, almost 35, the better part of 35, 34,000, sorry, uh, followers, and now she only has... 30,000, 30.6 thousand followers. Now, Sunshine Sachs and Megan and Harry are no longer working together. You know, there's various reasons for that. But, you know, one has to question 
are is her drop in followers all of the bots that she was using for Harry and Meghan? And since they don't have the contract anymore, those bots went away. I don't know. That's for another day, folks. So when I was looking at this initially years ago, I did find a connection between Elizabeth Thorpe and Christopher Boozy. Now, how deep that connection goes, I don't know. But they have a lot of um, mutual friends and things like that. They were on in, on June 3rd, 2019, before she worked at Sun, Sunshine Sacks. On June 3rd, 2019, she was in a Twitter thread that mentions Christopher Boozy and bought Sentinel and blocked lists and accounts and things like that. So she was aware of Christopher Boozy and what he, what bought Sentinel does aware to what extent, I don't know. I mean, I can take, you know, my opinion on June 3rd, 2019. So there is a connection there. There there's more about that in the other video. So on September 1st, this, and people on Twitter will, that are familiar will recognize Loopy Lala, who has since disappeared. But Loopy Lala is a sugar, and she seemed to do a lot of the legwork on Twitter and reporting people and things like that. The first tweet that she started tagging Elizabeth Thorpe in was September 1st to Richard Eden and the Mail Online, kind of ratting people out. Amid scabies is also tagged here. Then on September 11th, she is in a conversation with Murky Meg. Elizabeth E. Thorpe is tagged in that conversation. And then when on September 27th, 2021, Murky Meg is suspended. Everybody that has 95% of the people that were tagged by Loopy Lala with Elizabeth E. Thorpe got suspended. So here's Ian Sexton celebrating that. Um, Priyanka Scarf, who has since been dismissed from Twitter. So apparently Twitter hit Murky Meg with an IP ban. Prospects for a comeback don't look good. So Elizabeth E. Thorpe got Murky Meg. Elizabeth E. Thorpe of Sunshine Sex. Then on September 12th, Loopy Lala replies to a tweet of mine, replying to Duchess of Narcissix. She writes, actually, the disgrace is you spreading lies on the internet. Why are you asking other people to do your dirty work for you? Are you not able to do your own resource? Tags Elizabeth E. Thorpe. My Twitter account was suspended on October 28th, I believe. Another casualty of Loopy Lala and Elizabeth E. Thorpe. Then on 927, this is HRH Tanya, who is Priyanka's scarf. She changed her account. She writes, Team Archwell are masters in PR. Ha ha ha. Love it. Now, at the time, I didn't know what this meant. But now I do because it was all orchestrated. This was all a PR campaign to go after us and make Megan feel bad, you know, the whole bit. So I'm not really sure that that's the case now, Priyanka, HRH, Tanya. But anyway, so then we'll get to that. So then Loopy Lala tags um, this, you know, shows tweets from this Aya Jardine, people might remember her, on September 29th. She was also suspended. Loopy Lala tags Twitter support Jack, which is was the owner of Twitter at the time, Elizabeth E. Thorpe, and the Sussex Squad. Aja Jardine, another casualty of Loopy Lala and Sunshine Sacks, Elizabeth E. Thorpe. Then Loopy Lala tags Elizabeth E. Thorpe, ratting on this, um, let's see here, Nikki DPR1. All of these things, Twitter support Jack, Elizabeth E. Thorpe, Sussex Squad, S Scoby, Nikki DPR1 has been suspended. Are you seeing a pattern here, folks? Then they went after Jordan, who's still floating around on Twitter. They did not get him, but they were after him. So this would be the five. He's part of the 5% that weren't taken down, but they tried. Elizabeth E. Thorpe. 
loopy la la. Look, another de delightful Sussex Hatem member. So then on 10 8, I didn't know what this was either. And this is all still before the Twitter investigation by Bot Sentinel was announced. Lulu Brown writes, and then we'll get more into her later on another video. I told you it's going to take weeks for me to get through these people. So on 10 8 21, she writes, You derangers, that would be us, that's what they call us. You derangers are crazy. I'm so happy they are doing a docu-series on your crazies and how some of you Id idiots use digital blackfaces to spread misinformation and hate. So at least, so let's just go back. Elizabeth Thorpe came in in May 2021. Okay, and there is correspondence about all this stuff. I, I just didn't have time to look for it, and I wanted to get this out, maybe to get this in Dan Wooten's expose. But so they were at least planning on putting us in Megan and Harry's docuseries on 10 8 21. This is before the, the organic Twitter, tw the uh, supposedly organic Twitter investigation started. Christopher Boozy on 12 4 21. He writes, he's in response to uh, Queen Gertrude, one of my good buddies. Wait until she finds out I am in a second documentary this month. He was in a BBC documentary whatever. And then he was in another one. And he said, and I am, I am also in talks with a director about a third that will air in 2022. Now I'm the only documentary that I'm aware of that Christopher Boozy appeared in, in 2022 was Harry and Megan's love story on Netflix in December, 2020. So this had all been going on for a while, folks. And then it takes you back to Team Archwell or Masters in PR. Ha, ha, ha. Love it. So they created this whole thing and trapped people all to put this in the documentary, which a lot I was I was actually named. But they showed a lot of tweets and everything to censor people, make Harry and Meghan victims. We know the trail, folks. It was all planned since May, at least May, or March, whenever, 2021. So here we are, loopy la la again. She was really tagging, uh, going after Richard Eden a lot and putting stuff in here for Elizabeth E. Thorpe of Sunshine Sacks to see October 17th. So then October 18th, Christopher Boozy announces his Twitter investigation. There is an ongoing coordinated smear campaign targeting Megan, Duchess of Sussex, on on Twitter. Well, there's another smear campaign going on at the same time. We just didn't know it. But what is interesting is it appears a group of private citizens decided to form their own group to counter the smear campaign. Well, they all talked about how organized we were. Well, it sounds like they're very organized, doesn't it? The fact private citizens are doing what Twitter should be doing is another example of why allowing social media platforms to police themselves isn't working. So the Sussex Squad, the militant, psychotic Sussex Squad, should be the police of everyone. Over the weekend, we started using using the Bot Sentinel classifier to identify the most toxic accounts in an effort to expose how the Twitter accounts, how the accounts are spreading Meghan Markle hate on Twitter. Stay tuned. Now, right after that, Christopher Boozy was supplied with a list of quote unquote hate accounts. I'm on there, Baroness Bru the old Baroness Brooke on there. There's plenty of proof that she is completely different than she was then. Anyway, uh, Duchess Salty, Salty Duchess, CB, Lala, um, Remy's a good boy, Megan's mole. I mean, we're all, according to Tess, we're all on the list. Now, the only person that was suspended before this investigation was Murky Meg. They had to get her to go. That's for another video. But all of the people I showed you already, including myself, were after, tagged by Loopy of, with Elizabeth E. Thorpe, were all 
because of this this investigation. But they already knew, you know, they didn't need to use some sort of bot classifier because they already had a, a list in place. They already knew who they wanted to go after. Loopy Lala, C. Bo uh, Christopher Boozy, Elizabeth E. Thorpe. They're talking to Angela Levine and Jack Royston. I see you've been doing research on Murchy Meg, which is Murky Meg, and Yankee Wally's YouTube accounts again. Yankee Wally has lost her YouTube account, Elizabeth E. Thorpe. Then um, somebody t put a, a list of people here, of an HG Tutor video about this Twitter hate campaign, you know. Um, and so Loopy Lala responds to all of these people and said, you missed some off of your list, Twitter support, Jack, Twitter, C. Boozy, and Ellie Hall. So then all of these people have marks on their backs. Let's see here. Who knew, Loopy Lala, who knew Twitter trolling and Sussex hating seems to be a family trait? It looks like Nikki DPR is taking over from where her cousin Aja Jardine left off. Twitter sport, Jack, Elizabeth E. Thorpe, and the Sussex squad. Nikki DPR was suspended. Another casualty. Let's see, who's next? CB, my buddy CB. Loopy Lala. Well, it looks like the crazy cat person in Sussex hate member CB is working full-time filing, filling her timeline with lies and vitriol dedicated exclusively at the Sussexes. Twitter support Jack, Elizabeth E. Thorpe, Sussex Squad. Wow, just wow. I'm amazed that companies like Twitter see no problem with providing Sussex hate to members like CB a platform to hate Elizabeth E. Thorpe. Now, what CB did, what she enjoyed doing, and what she does enjoy doing is keeping track of all the Sussex squad bots and trolls and things like that. That's, that's, we all have our talents, folks. So that's why, not well, she is very clever and talks good shit on Harry and Meghan. I believe that she had to go because she had all the lists of all the bots. She, she got let go on the same day. Right, actually, right before Christopher Boozy's report came out, she was one of the first to go. I went two days after. Let's see here. CC. When the low IQ Sussex hate them member from Luby Lala are not moaning about being bullied, this is what they spend their time tweeting. You've got to love those Cambridge supporters. Twitter support Jack, Elizabeth E. Thorpe, Sussex Squad. CC has been suspended. Now, I, I'm starting to think this is just slightly more than a coincidence, folks. Teresa Longo fans, Loopy Lala, tagging Elizabeth E. Thorpe all over the place on their tweets on September 22nd, 2021. Teresa Longo fans, and I don't know when they lost their account, but they lost their account. Elizabeth E. Thorpe, another casualty of Sunshine Sacks. Now, they did open up a new account, which they're currently using, uh, they, Elizabeth E. Thorpe was tagged September 2021. They opened up their new account in February 2022 because, again, they lost their other account. Coincidence, folks? I couldn't show the suspended thing because somebody else has it now, but anyway. Uh, let's see. Trevor Colt, Loopy Lala, Trevor Colt tagging the army and Elizabeth E. Thorpe on two tweets on September 5th. Now, I don't remember if Tre Trevor got his account suspended or not on Twitter. I don't really think it matters. We all know that he is on his lit on their list and we all know what's happened to his YouTube channel. So he's on the Sunshine Sacks hit list. These people are so stupid, folks. Trevor is on the Sunshine Sacks hit list.
Loopy Lala, Suki Weeks. Well, one, Loopy Lala and Royal Brittany, Suki Weeks, Mimi's, a uh, bunch of numbers. Well, one way to find out is to contact the company. How's your YouTube channel going? Well, that sounds like a veiled threat, Loopy Lala, who, who again has since disappeared. Her account's still up, but it's different. Disappeared. Who's on the tweet? Elizabeth E. Thorpe. User Suki Weeks has been suspended. Now, there are a couple that I didn't show you. They're in the other video. But again, all the people that had been tagged lost their accounts. And then Christopher Boozy posted this on December 3rd. Uh, he posted, he said, well, he posted my Twitter account, Shylock's sister, which was Yankee Wally, stand up for Kate. I'm not sure who they were. And Duke Pantalamon. And he writes, each time a hate account is suspended, a bot gets its wings. Well, I mean, I don't know what that means, but could one say that maybe it was a Sunshine Sacks bot, bot attacks with all the missing bots on Elizabeth E. Thorpe's Twitter page that are gone? I don't know. But a bot gets its wings mean maybe a bot did the job. I don't know. I'm not, I just don't know. Loopy Lala. Loopy Lala. So after we were thrown off, Loopy Lala had a real problem with people posting stuff from, I had a blog at the time, posting stuff that I wrote or Yankee Wally was doing with her YouTube channel or whatever. So she was going around harassing people saying, you can't post this stuff. You're tweeting content on, on Twitter that you're not allowed. They've been suspended. They're not allowed. So they're trying to, so, which they are allowed. So they were trying to take away people's freedom of speech by not letting them post anything that we had written or even talk about us. That's how hated we were. More of the same, Lo Loopy Lala all over the place telling people that they need to stop talking about Yankee Wally and I and stop posting blogs or videos. Why? More of Loopy Lala doing the same thing. You can't post anything about them. They're suspended. They're suspended. You can't post anything about them. These are people, I mean, like, we're, you know, why, they're the, these people are the ones with all the power, but yet we're so dangerous. Make it make sense, folks. I can't wait to see and hear your comments. So that's what I have for you. Um, do you think that they had this planned? Do you think Sunshine Sack was, was behind it? Now, Christopher Boozy said he didn't work for Harry and Meghan and that he did not get paid from Harry and Meghan. Could he have gotten paid from Sunshine Sacks? Do you see a pattern here? Are they guilty? Am I wrong? Can't wait to hear from you. Looking forward to your comments. See you later.